in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five YouTubers over 40 that I follow. Are you enjoying my lovely scenario? So, how do you like my hair? I've darkened it a little bit. I know I'm a little late in the game. It is December. Fall started back in September. You know, when I get a little bored, I want to change it up a little bit. I want to look a little bit like a dark princess. So the first YouTuber that I want to tell you about that I actually came across before I hit 40 is Busby Style. And what I love about her is she teaches technical tips on basically how to look good in your clothes. And she has a couple videos that also will show you physically how to appear younger when you're wearing certain clothes, how to hide your tummy, how to elongate your legs. And she really does have a passion to make sure that women don't look frumpy over the age of 40. So I've never been a person into fashion, but for some reason I could watch her videos all day long. And that's because she really goes into the technicality of fashion. And a lot of these things are things that a fashion stylist, you know, would charge for, and they're not just going to tell everybody, but she's actually providing logical information about this. And it's just easier for me when I know these little rules on how to make you look better in clothes. One of the other things that I love is that she'll take one outfit and show you how to wear it in several different ways, which is another, I guess, technical piece of information. I also love that she goes a little bit into mindset and skincare. Um, so she's kind of evolving a little bit more, not just fashion. And what I love about Erin Busby is she is a local Texan. I don't know if she was born in Texas, but she's right over in Dallas and I'm over here in Austin. Hi. <laughs> so please check out her channel. I think you're really going to love her personality. Another YouTuber that I love to follow is Miss Eva Monroe and I love her sassy personality. She is a feminine goddess. And what I love about her is she actually films her videos most of the time that I've watched her videos. She's filming out of her closet. So it just makes it even more entertaining because I just keep looking at the stuff behind her while I'm listening to her. And I kind of I kind of feel like her closet is her woman cave, which I mean, who doesn't want a woman cave that looks like a closet? But what I love about Eva is that she is teaching women how to, it, it, she's, she's a little bit of fashion, a little bit of feminine energy, but she really is teaching me about how to basically own your womanhood, own, you know, own up to being a woman and using that to your advantage to attract the right man. So, um, even more so, she is dating a man that I believe is 30 years her senior. And she goes into why she prefers dating an older man. I personally never cared about age until recently. Most of my 30s, I didn't really care about a man's age. And it really, I was more or less trying to, you know, look out for his personality. Well, as I've gotten older, yes, you you can't assume that all men that are in their upper 30s or early 40s is automatically mature and they have their life together. So guess what? When you, a 40 something female is looking for a man in your life, you realize that there is a huge connection with age. Most of the time, I'll just say that most of the time. And I have been looking for an older man that has a little bit more life experience, a little bit more wisdom, but somebody that's not that much older that I'm gonna feel like I'm dating a grandpa. No offense to anybody dating grandpas. I'm just saying, I still want a man in my life that is around my age, but ultimately older than me. You're gonna like her channel and she is always on point and she's a little sassy. And when you listen to her, she's kind of like the best friend you don't have. The girl in your life or the woman in your life, the friend in your life that you really need that you just don't have. 
And so when I watch her channel, I, I almost feel like I'm on a video conference call with like a girlfriend of mine. So check out her channel, please show her support. I will put her link in the description down below. Another YouTuber that I have been following is Hot and Flashy. As far as skincare, she was the first over 40 YouTuber that I started watching regarding skincare and makeup techniques. The first video that I ever came across where I discovered her was, um, it had to do with like how to hide your hooded eyes. It took a long time for me to even understand that women have to contour <laughs> their eyes to look like they have like a deep set or look like that you can see like a bone structure. Again, I'm not a makeup person. This is why I love watching her channel. And she actually started her channel very late in her 40s or maybe somewhere in her 40s. She started her channel because she started on her skincare journey pretty late in life. She used to be a sun worshiper and she just didn't care too much about taking care of her skin until um, I think she started like noticing the changes. I believe now she is in her 50s. She's absolutely beautiful. I am inspired and she has inspired me to take care of my skin. So I know you're gonna like her channel. Please check her out. Link, of the, link is in the description down below. Another YouTuber that is over 40, but she doesn't advertise herself specifically as an over 40 YouTuber is Adrienne Everhart. She teaches about feminine energy um, in regards, obviously, feminine energy, translating into dating. I, you know, I've always known about the goddess mentality and I've looked into it, you know, back in my 30s, I guess. And at the time though, the only time that I was interested in learning about how to act and feel like a goddess, it was usually after a breakup. <laughs> so it was usually when I needed some sort of confidence boost in my life. And this time in 2020, something clicked when I started coming across her videos about feminine energy. Like I said before, I would only like maybe see videos about goddess mindset, goddess mentality, and I never heard anybody, or at least in some of these videos that I've watched, I never heard anybody reference feminine and masculine energy. And it finally clicked in 2020 with all of this time to think during the pandemic, Adrian has really opened my mind to realizing that maybe some of my attitudes towards men or dating in general is coming from having too much masculine energy. Once I became fully aware that, oh my goodness, like that might be the problem that I, you know, having too much masculine energy could be exactly what's caused some problems in even parenting with my son, you know? One of the things I did discover though is I discovered that I, I came to terms with the fact that I do in fact need a man in my life, not just want, but I need a man in my life. And once I accepted that, once I said it out loud and I became okay with it, my brain naturally started grasping more of what Adrian would talk about regarding feminine energy, masculine energy. I think in society more now than ever is women have a lot more masculine traits, but the awesome thing is, is that we can actually switch it. We can turn it off, we can turn it on. I mean, I can honestly tell you, I work for a bunch of men. I'm in my masculine energy when I'm at work so that I can be focused, I can produce, I can sound smart when I'm talking to real estate brokers. But when I'm with my friends, that's whenever I am, I'm sort of, you know, cashing in on my feminine energy, you know, enjoying a night out on the town with my friends on a Saturday night. Please check out Adrienne Everhart. She does live videos, which, I haven't been able to catch one, and but I'm dying to now. So that's a really good way to show support. Another YouTuber that I very recently came across by total accident, who is over 40, is Stung by Samantha. I was looking for a video on 
a particular Sally Hansen nail polish. When you see her, I mean, honestly, the first thing I loved was her personality. She has so much energy. She's got an amazing smile. You can also tell that she's super fit. I really had no idea until I watched one of her videos that she's actually 52 years young. <laughs> and then I was like, whoa, I need to subscribe to her channel. And I don't know what it was, but after coming across her video was kind of the moment that I at least started getting into the gym twice a week. She has really great skin and she's still a girly girl. She still like gets her hair done with highlights. She doesn't have any gray. I want to be a little bit more like her. Maybe if I get into the gym more than twice a week. Anyways, thank you for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed this. Please check out all these beautiful, lovely ladies on YouTube. And you know what? I can already tell you, I keep finding more YouTubers over 40 and there will be a future video. So please subscribe to my channel down below and hopefully you'll get notification on the next video. Merry Christmas and soon to be Happy New Year.